Welcome back, GMV Nation. This is your host, GMV Reacts, and today we're getting into another reaction with Quest. You already know what time it is. This is by, uh, who requested this? Cool8294. Shout out to Cool8294. You already know what time it is when it comes down to that. This is top 10 craziest restaurants that actually exist. In his reaction request, he requested that I reacted to pranks and food in places. So this is the food in places part of that reaction request as we already reacted to uh, pranks. So let's get it. Let's do it. For culinary experience, these wacky eateries surely have you covered. Oh, wow. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're well, counting down our picks for the top 10 friend? craziest restaurants in the world. That's crazy. Uh -oh. Okay, well, it's been done. Is that a that female? For this Whoa. list, we're focusing on the most bizarre Look, and unique restaurants we could find you across the globe. And while the prices may vary, all of the following are certifiably insane. This is very prison like. I Oh my god, it's fried rice. Oh my god, titties. Number 10, Ita Undersea Restaurant, Rangali Island, Republic of Maldives. Our story begins. That looks very, uh, popular. looks very, uh, exquisite. Undersea eatery. Even with dinner priced at oh, $320 and lunch set at a cool $195, the experience. It looks like you're dining at an aquarium. It's of this Maldives locale still may be worth it, as this is the world's first underwater restaurant. Ita opened its doors in 2005, featuring a spiral staircase that leads patrons 16 feet below sea level for a unique view of the Indian Ocean and its inhabitants. Oh, wow. Given the view and luxury of it all, Ita doesn't rely on gimmicks, but rather literally immerses guests in the aquatic vibe, complete with a six-course menu. And with a seating capacity of only 14, you might want to book ahead of time. Number 9. Yeah. Opaque various cities. This is really good. In the cities of Los Angeles, Dallas, and New A York. A sitting capacity of only 14? You know that place stay packed. No cop. As well as several others that host restaurants with similar concepts. Both restaurant connoisseurs and curious foodies are left totally in the dark. And that's because dinner at Opaque requires a certain amount of trust. Emphasizing taste over visuals, this dining experience is not for the easily rattled and certainly not for social media addicts eager to post pics of their food. <laughs> and, well, it's probably best to have at least a party of two given the inherent creepiness of consuming unknown foods in the dark. Next, I have a crudite platter for the three of you to share, which means it has... Well, so they have a blind guy that just directs you through everything, takes you to the bathroom, all that? I don't know about all that, fam. I don't know how I feel about that. Ain't that much trust in the world, my guy. Ain't that much trust in the world. <laughs> three veggies and three dips, and you guys get to use your other senses. It will cost 100 bucks to dine at Opaque. However, one might find a sense of calm with the right combination oh, no, of... Oh, that's just... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about going to a restaurant in the dark, man. Especially if you're a female, bro. You're finna, finna get me too out there. On vacation. I don't think no female wants to get me to it on a vacation time off, man. Nah. Of culinary aromas and delicious menu selections. This is so kind. This has been fantastic. I love this, yeah. Number eight, Count Dracula Club, Bucharest, Count Romania. Club. Wisely capitalizing on the mystique of Bram Stoker's famous antagonist. I am Dracula. This Dracula. Romanian. Who's the way to Transvania? In restaurant allows patrons to dine with the man himself. Be advised that staffers just may ask for your blood type, and one can expect plenty of meat to be served up as well. Of course, given the claustrophobic nature of the club, guests best chow down and find pleasure in the gothic setting. Really and though a roaming Dracula may feel a bit annoying or even lame to some, the performances at Count Dracula Club are designed to enhance the experience within each dining room. <laughs> Medieval, hunting, Hell Transylvanian, no. and even... They just go up and just bite random strangers' necks. Hell no, not with Corona out. You got me all the way, the all the way, the <laughs> Got me all the way messed up. The cellar. This joint is both creepy and on brand. Oh, yeah, for sure. In Transylvania, you can see very strange things. Oh, yes. Number seven, 
Kayabukiya Tavern, so Utsunomiya, man, Japan. At this sake restaurant, the prices are known to be quite cheap. This is likely due to the unpredictable macaque monkey staff that doesn't adhere to expected <laughs> Look at that man, like, yo, come here, fam. I got this drink for you. Hold on. Is that Chardonnay? Uh, stay sorry, you stupid ass boy. Here's a drink. <laughs> drink up. Waterfalls only. We sharing around the whole bar. Fully aware of animal regulations, Hayabukiya Tavern limits its Limited. working monkeys to just a couple hey, of hours hey, per day. But when they show up, tip? they a do not mess around. <laughs> Owned by a visionary gentleman named Kaoru Otsuka, the tavern's little waiters are self-taught, learning on the job and making Aww, friends. Let me get to pet the little nigga. Look at him. He's so adorable in the process. The monkeys are actually better waiters than some really bad human ones. Unfortunately, the tsunami of March 2011 ended the monkeys' reign at Kayabukiya Tavern and the restaurant itself. But the concept lives on. Number six. Wait, they said what ended it? What happened? Unfortunately, the tsunami of March 2011 ended the monkeys' reign at Kayabukiya Tavern and the restaurant. Oh, uh, it was a tsunami ended when he died in a tsunami or something? Itself. But the concept lives on. Number six, dinner in the sky, various cities. Perfect for thrill seekers and not so much for stressful first dates. These conceptual restaurants are run 165 feet in the air. And whether you're in London, Paris, or Montreal, the heightened escapade allows for a peculiar blend of culture and adventure. Sure, it is are not- you sure enough to do, yeah. If you got acrophobia, meaning that you have the fear of heights, that is not, that's not something for you. I could tell you that. But I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. I'm good with hikes now. I'm not that fearful of hikes. Just depends on what we're doing and the location. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, stuff like that, I don't mind. Like, I get on roller coasters for, you know what I'm saying, for the thrill of it, you know. Um, I'm climb mountains. Well, I done walked up mountains. I ain't climbed no mountain. I ain't got time for that. Uh, did a lot of hike stuff, though, before. You know what I'm saying? Went to the top of sky, you know, skyscrapers and stuff like that. Been at the top of Ferris Wheels, the highest point of Ferris Wheel downtown in Georgia. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a thrill seeker to an extent, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh I'm also looking into skydiving, but we gonna keep that on the bucket list for later on. <laughs> for everybody. And the promotional videos show individuals that are fully aware of the non-existent restroom situation. But hey, it's dinner in the sky. You'll just have to smile and hold it. Typically, the crane lift will cost you a couple hundred bucks per person, but a Montreal Dags, company- you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta wait to use the restroom. You gotta wait till it's all over. How long is that damn ride? I'm gonna be like, nigga, how long is this? And I'm paying how much? Okay. He allows for a brief excursion if you're looking for a quickie at around $40 for 15 minutes. Anybody who likes uh, extraordinary experiences, uh, once in a lifetime experiences, bucket list type of uh, stuff. Number five, Alcatraz ER, Tokyo, Japan. Ah, that is ringing in my ear. Not only is this place modeled after a prison hospital, but the specialties are bizarrely sexualized to the max as well. At Alcatraz ER, it's all about the shock value, with drinks like sperm juice and blood transfusion. Of course, Sp when- Yo fam, we not going there, my guy. Sperm juice? Hell no. Can also dive into the penis lettuce. However- Yo, that's mad sus, my guy. I might skip over this part because this is like getting mad sussy. Or if that's not interesting enough, the staff can certainly recommend their favorites. Perhaps the boobs fried rice. Located in the- sh Okay, they, they saved it with the boobs. Shibuya district of Tokyo. This dining experience is steeped in the macabre. Yeah, you can't go to the homies with, to that type of restaurant. You gotta bring your lady with you. You'd be like, yo, you tried the penis banana, I tried the, the boob rice, all right? You try that phallus, I try this, all right? I'm gonna get the nipples, you get the tip. <laughs> Pause. 
cause. In fact, Alcatraz ER is probably best suited to late night dinners and guests who Sperm like to juice. giggle at the sight of suggestive Word. food arrangements. Dog, they got dildos for the drinks, dog. What the hell? Yo, this is too erotic for me, man. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Guo Li Zhuang Restaurant, Beijing, China. Maybe this one would make even Ron Jeremy a little bit jealous. If you're not down with the penis lettuce from our previous entry, then you'll probably want to stay away from Beijing's beloved culinary hotspot. Aside from the experience of consuming various forms of genitalia, Guo Li Zhuang offers legitimate fine dining with the careful preparation of the aforementioned genitalia. Sounds like you're saying penis. Look at the menu. This is in- Oh, hell nah, bro. They just serve nothing but ding -a -lings. In fact, a serious business and a thriving one as a result of the aphrodisiac-like benefits said to come from consuming testes Pause. and such. Why is it bigger? Oh, it's moment of silence. Oh, no. Why? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. It's much bigger than yours. Oh. In the West, men can achieve that certain special feeling with the help of a pill. But the chefs at Guo Li Zhuang understand the benefits of bull wiener and various other delicacies to help one feel youthful. All in all, the specialized meals are meant to treat the body, albeit in a somewhat taboo fashion. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's really good. Number three, Disaster Cafe, Lloret de Mar, Spain. On the Costa Brava of Eastern Spain, this restaurant in Lloret de Mar is a favorite among thrill-seeking tourists. At Disaster Cafe, the concept is simple. You're sitting down for dinner with the knowledge that a 7.8 earthquake simulation will somewhat disrupt your meal. First, an elevator transports guests to the depths of the earth. And there, patrons immerse themselves in the moment and come to grips with the inevitable horror of a faux tremble, complete with fl the depths of hell. What type of restaurant? Y'all paying for this? Y'all crazy. Flickering power. The staff even wears construction outfits at Disaster Cafe to enrich the experience. Located just below an alien-themed restaurant for kids, it may just be the ideal dinner date for parents looking to let loose or it could be a shaky experience. <laughs> Number two, Robot Restaurant, Tokyo, Japan. This is the best thing that's ever happened. So you wanna dine with crazy robots, do ya? Well, leave the children at home and bring some extra cash, cause the employees of Robot Restaurant are legitimately freaky. This place is pure spectacle, with stuffed animals, scantily clad women, and aggressive robots engaging in battles royale for your personal pleasure. Now this thing's pretty cool. In fact, your food will likely get cold at Robot Restaurant considering all the WTF moments that are sure to transpire just while you're trying to enjoy a few appetizers. But that's what you pay for at this naughty red light district venue, and it will only run you about 50 bucks. How much money you got? <laughs> How much money you got? Before we unveil our off. number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Santa Cana? What the world? Number one, modern toilet restaurant, Taipei City, Taiwan. Awesome. How do you feel? Crazy, I'm feeling a little crappy. <laughs> are you willing to go for a wholly unique meal? Well, the poo-themed modern toilet can help you fulfill your dream by flushing faux turds down your throat. The venue itself just may reveal a few surprises, given that it naturally attracts some uninformed peeps for all the wrong reasons. But the true beauty of this high society restaurant has to be its commitment to the poo theme. You know what you're getting when you fork out money for this crappy meal, and Modern Toilet is definitely a spot where you don't want to upset the server. And the drink comes in a nice little urinal. That's because everything just sort of blends Yo, together at this celebrated crap house. And by that we mean the chocolate poop ice cream, and pretty much every poo-themed thing on the menu. Your poop mouth! <laughs> do you agree with our list? Yo, Which restaurant do you think is just a bit too crazy for your tastes? For more questionable top tens, public the best ones off this list 
are that the one they're showing right now, which is the underwater theme. Uh, if you could get in there, because they'd probably be booked every single day. And then the uh, in the air theme. Those are the two best ones off this list on me, on my mama. Like, those are the ones that I take a chick to. She be like, I love it, bitch. This is nice. I really like it. Yes. But other ones, man, they just out they just out of pocket. I don't know what they going. Pushed every day. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Special dish just for you. Thanks. Nah, fam. We're not eating peanuts for lunch, breakfast, brunch, or dinner. Alright, bro. <laughs> that was funny. I ain't gonna hold you. That was a crazy list of stuff, man. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What was the y'all a spot that y'all liked or want or would like to go to in this top ten list? I already told you my spots, man. I already got my spot shredded for the ladies. You never know what I'm saying. But other than that, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your host, GMB Creates, a.k.a. GMB Reacts. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to 1,000 subscribers as usual. GMB out.